Hey guys, welcome back. This is Vi Cameron from Dreamlight. Welcome to another cool video here, and I'm gonna talk about a cool lighting trick that is often missed or overlooked. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I like you know contrast in the images, and that it's often beneficial to use the main lighting, in this case the sun, as a very strong kind of shadow caster from the side or from behind so that it looks more dramatic and cool because let's face it, if this scene were to be illuminated from from the front, it would look kind of dull, all right? So a cool trick is to always use side and back lighting. And that is often then paired with additional fillers from the front to ease in the uh, scenery. So in this case, I would just throw in an extra spotlight. I would change that light's camera and just move it back in the scene a little bit. Let me just pause while I'm doing this. And I'm going to put it low on the ground so it doesn't interact so much with the floor. All right. I'll just aim straight at the action and make sure it's a large, nice type of light like a rectangular shape or something like that with a little bit of size so it becomes soft towards our character and now I'm just gonna throw in some intensity and we have that extra lighting on her right now all right now very often when illuminating using this technique you end up with a kind of dark background right I'll just dim this a little bit and the thing I want to talk about today is something I called something I call connecting the scenery with the background. And in this case, this the way I would take the sun is I wanted to have as much side lighting as possible on this, and obviously uh, create some tension and cool contrast. And in doing that, I also illuminated some of the pillars in the background, but it's still kind of dark here and there. And in order to connect the very harsh lighting we see here, partially obstructed with nice shadow, right? You want to avoid large areas that are lit because that draws attention. But you want to connect the harsh lighting here in the front towards the background by adding some kind of additional stripe of lighting here in the back. And sometimes it's not possible to achieve uh, depending on, well, the scene you're having or the props you're using and so forth. So it's always good to add another, you guessed it, spotlight, right? So I'm going to do that. And while I'm navigating it to the right position, I'm going to quickly pause the video. And now when adding this secondary light, or in this case the third light actually, you want to make sure it's kind of mimicking what the sun does, right? It doesn't need to be exact 100%. But you want to have it slightly, roughly from the correct angle so that it doesn't look weird. Now, having that said, though, it doesn't need to be exact the same angle. But I'm just looking at some kind of additional stripe here in the background. So what I want to do with this light, I want to make sure it's kind of narrow. I don't want to illuminate the whole set, right? I just want to cast a very narrow stripe of light, something like that. Let's use a rectangle on it as well. Let's use just 1010 and just add some illumination and see where that takes us. There we go. That throws in some extra light. I'm going to increase its intensity and just see exactly where it goes and what it does. Gonna make sure that it illuminates a little bit more of the scene. So I'm going to kind of fake it a little bit here. There we go. And I'm going to get a little bit more here. Just add it slightly like that. And you see, this is really kind of not exactly 100% the same angle as the, you know, sun, right? But it gives our scene that additional splotch of light right here. That looks very cool. There we have it slightly more intensified. So we just project some extra beam of light here across the, the edge. 
and that connects the scene with the background. Now, let me show you how this looks like with, oh, this is a little bit too intense. And I can also do a little bit more yellowish tint because this is the sun after all. Now this is with, all right. Now let me just remove it so you can see how it looks without. And the thing is, it's gone right now and you can feel the darkness in the background, right? And when we have it on, it's immediately a different story. So I call this connecting the foreground with the background using a splotchy light effect. And obviously for all this to work, you need to light in a, such a fashion so that you have enough contrast that makes this possible. If you use frontal lighting and illuminate everything, that kind of get destroyed in the process, right? You need to create room for this effect to be applied. All right, guys, that was pretty much it for today. Have fun with your renders. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon again.